Las Vegas is the summer of basketball mecca, and guys are coming out. And th these are life-changing events that take place here in Las Vegas. Then you have the the different other countries that are coming in here and putting on events, other continents rather, that's putting on events, uh, recruiting. The Eurobasket Summer League is, in my mind, the best place for a player to get exposure to go overseas. You're playing in front of coaches, you're playing in front of scouts, you're playing in front of general managers, and well-connected agents. My name is Terrence Whitus from Baltimore, Maryland. Um, I came to the camp for, for exposure. I mean, Eurobasket is like the Bible for a lot of overseas teams. There's a good talent pool here, a lot of people here, a lot of agents, a lot of overseas teams, and just a good core guys that can really help you. Been an assistant coach in the NBA a number of years. Coached six years in Spain uh, in the ACB. Um, Joven to Talgres, Zaragoza, and Valencia. You know, this is a controlled situation, highly professionally run, and it gives you an opportunity to, to meet different people. Oh, there's basketball all over the globe. Um, in South America, in, in, in Asia, uh, in the Middle East, uh, it, it's everywhere. And I think that you have to take the opportunity uh, when it comes knocking on your door. What's interesting here is we have two different transitions. We have the transition of a rookie player or a player trying to get into the European game and establish himself in a career. But I think on the other end, the veteran players, it's very interesting and sometimes challenging. Glenn Wisby, for example. He's played in many countries and has a variety of experiences that can really help uh, the, the rookies, the young kids. I have a lot of opportunities to travel to a lot of countries. I was in Spain, um, Italy, France, Russia, Poland, Slovakia. You know, I, I um, have a wealth of um, experience, you know, traveling abroad. These young men, they don't have a clue, but they're hungry. And if I see a young man that's hungry and I can help him in any kind of way that with the knowledge I have, hey, I'm freely to give. You know, if you got knowledge and information, share it. Coming out here at Eurobasket in Las Vegas and getting involved, you've got the whole Global Basketball Expo. Shot doctors, shooting instructors, uh, basketball equipment, uh, people presenting different ideas and different things to an international basketball market. I love coaching the Euro. I love the life. You know, I love being exposed to a different culture. I love the fact that I did not pay taxes. <laughs> right. Daryl brought me in to speak to coaches, to speak to agents, to speak possibly to players about my experiences in in Europe, coaching in Europe, in the top league in Spain, uh, coaching in Israel, coaching in Puerto Rico, and then coaching in the, in the NBA. With the seminars and other events that are involved, as a person that loves basketball, as a person that wants to network and, and learn more about the game, it's great to talk to other coaches, to talk to other agents, hear ideas. What's touched me is, is how much fun this whole event has been. Uh, to see a video piece that is, is a documentary focused on uh, you know, a, a great name like Pete Newell, it's all very special. I think it's all about getting to the right markets. It's so important. These coaches right here are some of the top teams in Korea, actually. And, um, you know, the Koreans are doing a really good job in terms of their salaries, very professional, the games are televised. Yeah. I really think Daryl and John, the, the, the directors of the camp, they want what's best for kids. They've been around, played a lot of places. They've been around a lot, a lot of basketball, and I just think they want everybody to get the same opportunity. Having a chance to play basketball overseas is very important to some of these kids because not very many people get that opportunity to do so. And you have to make, you know, you have to make good on the, on the best situation. And the guys that are trying out like right now, trying to make it, the best thing that can happen to them is to go and, and be in a European country. And then maybe you get two or three offers, you know, and then you can decide where you want to go. And, and through Daryl coming out here to Eurobasket in Las Vegas and getting involved, I've gotten a chance to meet some really fantastic people. And I think there's just tremendous potential here uh, with the Eurobasket Summer League and the Global Basketball League.